Hello everyone, Will again here and today it's going to be a really busy day on the farm. We've got Ed up there, he's here to help me today so he's just tying a few hurdles together but today what we are doing, we're getting all the ewes and lambs in, we're weighing all the lambs, we're vaccinating the lambs and then we're also worming the lambs. So busy day today, we've got the handling system all set up. The wrapper hasn't come so we're still using the old Richie system. I've borrowed a new wayhead so that should be quite cool to see how that goes on but it's going to be a really fun day. But keep watching guys to see what happens today. If you do enjoy it please give it a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this please smash that subscribe button and don't forget videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Cheers guys! <laughs> So we've now just hopped into the chimney and the plan now is that we're going to go and get the ewes and lambs. So there are approximately 150 ewes slash hogs um, with lambs at foot. So there's about, what would I say, 400 heads to get in. And um, plan is they're going to follow the chimney because they get fed by us with nuts every morning and evening at the moment. And they should follow the chimney because this is what they actually get fed in. But we have a plan B, if it doesn't happen we'll just push them down but we'll see what happens, we're going to get over there and hopefully they go mad and follow us but who knows, we'll see what happens. Come on guys, come on! So that didn't work, so now we're going to do plan B, we're going to push all the sheep out the field, then we're going to walk with the bag of corn. Hopefully plan B works, if not we'll go to plan C and then we'll push them down. Yeah, don't worry about them at the moment. That's it. Come on! So that is the first lot I use all loaded, so we've got 40 on there and then the plan is now what Grandad's going to do today, so Grandad's just come on the mule because she's gone for a coffee or something. He's going to take all the loads for us today so we don't have to go back and forth and we just stick to that. So here he is, the big man himself. So while Grandad takes that load, what we're going to do is go and get the rest of the ewes and lambs and hopefully they go in a lot easier this time. Fingers crossed. Come on! So that is all the ewes and lambs in and they're all ready to go in now. So what we're going to do, we're going to pass the ewes and lambs through here. We're going to shed them so the lambs are going to go into here, the ewes are going into here. And while that happens, Grandad's going to take loads of ewes back and forth and then we're going to get them all vaccinated and weighed. So that's the plan guys. Remember that there's 40 odd ewes not in here because they're already gone. So. It looks like it's not a lot of use, but they've gone already, so that's it. So what we'll do now is crack on and get them all shedded.
So guys, that is all the ewes shedded off now. So granddad has gone with them, as you can see. There's no more ewes. And I've actually got a few more helpers. So there's mum standing in the wrong direction because she don't want to be on YouTube. There's Ellie in a new kayakers. And we all remember Ed. So the plan now is we're finally going to get these vaccinated wormed and weighed. So the plan is we're going to shoot them down here. They're going to get vaccinated and weighed in there. Sorry, they're going to get vaccinated and worm down there. Then we're going to weigh them using this true test um, weigh head. All these need to go through. So they go through into the race, into here. And that is it, guys. So are we all ready? Yes. Let's hit it. So just before we do hit it, I'm just going to tell you exactly what we're doing. So we are worming with a group one wormer, and this is also works as a flucicide. So this is Albex, and we're giving them five mil each. So if you swap it around now, and you can see here, these are the dose rates. So we're dosing them to a 20 kilo lamp, as they'll probably all be pretty much 10 to 20 kilos now. So that's the plan. Then we're also doing Heptavac. So Heptavac is a clostridial vaccination. So this is five clostridial diseases. So they get one now and they get another one in a month's time. And that like sets them up on the system for life. Hello everyone. So I've just paused the video here because I wanted to explain exactly what a clostridial disease is. So a clostridial disease is one that's caused by clostridial bacteria. And there are several amounts of these. I'll pop them on screen now. So these are common clostridial diseases in sheep and their causes. So basically there are two ways to prevent these. You vaccinate like we're doing now or they come through colostrum which is the mum's milk and that's why we basically vaccinate the ewes and they need to be done once a year to keep this going. Um, I hope that was understandable for you guys and yeah. And finally they're going to move on to the crush where they get weighed. So that's on here basically. The weight comes from this Bluetooth system to my phone. It's pretty quick and simple. I'll show you in a minute. So let's hit it. So we've nearly got through all of the lambs now. I'm sorry I haven't filmed a lot, it's just because I forgot one of my batteries today, so I've been going off not a lot of battery, but while I've got time, Ellie's just gonna show you how we vaccinate the lambs. So this is a subcutaneous injection, so this goes under the skin. So just show them how you inject them out. So literally like that. Yep, and it's jabbed, so that one's done. Well done out, are you gonna show us another one? Yep. So you quickly do another lamb under the skin. And that's done. So that's how we inject the lambs. Now I'm going to quickly show you while I've got some battery how, how mum worms the lambs and then I'm going to show you how we worm. So I'm going to be as quick as possible because I've got not a lot of battery. So to worm the lambs what Ellie does is slide the drench gun like down the lamb's throat so it goes right down to back and it shoots the wormer down its throat just like this. So you do that out. We do another one just to show her. Yeah, I'm on. See, no pain at all, and that says worm. So, we're going to carry on going and hopefully, got some battery to finish the video off. So, guys, what I'm going to do now is quickly show you how I weigh the lambs. So, first of all, we've got the app on my phone, like we've, had, what we've seen in a few other videos. I've got one of the lambs in the crate. So, what I'm going to do is click on add weight, scan the lamb, just like that. And then the weight is on here, so this is a little lamb. This one's only 11 kilos, so this is a new trust test weigh head that I borrowed us on. So we then type it in, so 11.2, add weight, and it's done. And then if you pop this other one, Ellie's got another one behind her, and that one will go in. Then we scan that one, just like that. So that one's 17, so 17, add weight, send, 
and that's them done. So that's how we weigh the lambs guys and that's actually us done for today. So what we're going to do to finish the video tomorrow, I'm going to talk you through a bit more when I've got a little bit more battery on the camera but thank you for watching today. But thank you for watching today guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, so it's the day after now and all the ewes are on to some fresh grazing. I didn't get a chance to show you yesterday. Apologies again because I had a bit of a mess up with my batteries. I didn't plug it in enough and they didn't charge so did all yesterday on one battery. It doesn't matter now. I'll show you exactly how they're looking and the new grazing. So here are some of the ewes and lambs there. They're all running over because they've just been fed. They're looking really well. And they're on some really nice grazing now. So we're next to the River Trent down here. And they're just on some lush grass about 10 centimetres tall, so perfect for use. So while the rest of the ewes wander over, most of them are here now, we'll just have a chat about yesterday and a bit of a summary. So what we did yesterday, we hectovaxed, we wormed and we weighed all the lambs. So first of all, I'll start off with the weighing. I was really happy with the weight, so they're really consistent. So most of the lambs were like 18 to that 22 kilo mark. We had one that was 28 kilos and another handful that are like 24, 25, so really happy with them. And especially the twins, the twins were weighing really well, so it shows that the breeding is going in the right direction. So as you've seen before in other videos, what we do is we vaccinate the ewes with a booster every year and to get the lambs onto the system, they get two of these at the start. So that's how that works and finally worming. We were worming the lambs for the first time and what I like to do is worm the lambs with a white wormer start off with because it's not too bad it's not too nasty and it's a good way to start and then after this what we do is go on to feast the leg counts to see if they need worming at all and when they need worming so yeah that's a summary of yesterday guys i'll have a bit of a wander around i think if anything to add on i will but yeah they're looking really smart they're on some really nice grass now as i said before i'm still gonna feed them a bit of corn to start off with just to wean them off it so they're gonna get two bags a day and then a bag each day for a week and then they'll be off the corn um, but lambs looking really well just an odd few running about now but really happy so i've just wandered down onto the grazing field so this is the main field they're using lambs like there's a little pond over there but, but down here they're grazing 40 acres of land so that's 150 issues on 40 acres are a lot more spread out we go down here this is what the grazing's like a lot more greener a lot better for the sheep but the main reason they stay at home at the start is basically to get that field grazed off as it hasn't been grazed in years it just needed all the dead taken out of it but it's done a good job because it means we can check the sheep a lot more regular in the day as this is further away from home here so that's the reason behind that for any that were wondering but yeah guys they're looking really well loads of grass in front of them i'll keep you guys updated as they grow older and we'll see how they get on in the next coming weeks but yeah thank you for watching today guys if you did enjoy it please give it a massive like you are seeing more stuff like this please smash that subscribe button and don't forget videos every wednesday and saturday at half seven see you next time guys cheers so i had finished the video but there's one funny thing that's just happened just come over to this ewe. She is two fields away from all the other sheep. She's on her own, lay here, from a distance she looks like she croaked it. But as you know, if you watch Joanne the Shearer and her videos, sheep like to play this game dead or alive. And this sheep was perfectly fine. She's got two really nice ewe lambs. It's actually number 111, so it's one of my favorite pairs of ewe lambs. And she's over here. Aren't you girl, messing us about this morning? Oh, oh well always happens with sheep but yeah thank you again for watching today guys i'll see you soon